Chorus Niagara will be presenting the World Remembers First World War Centennial on November 8th at the Calvary Church in St. Catharines. We spoke with artistic director Robert Cooper at a recent rehearsal. Knowing that this year is the centenary of World War I, I, I thought it would be important that we try to reflect this in our music making. I always have felt that choral music is an art form which lends itself to reflecting topical uh, events that go on around us. And I thought, well, admittedly, it's 100 years ago, the war, but it still has resonance today with all the things that are going on in our own world. So we've tried to find that, that connection so there's context uh, between explaining and, and showing the story of what happened 100 years ago with this war that, that transformed our own national identity to what's going on in our own life today. So I uh, first sat down with one of my choristers, Adrian Petri, and uh, he works uh, for the museum. And it was with his enthusiasm that I said, okay, I think we can do this. I want to do a concert which reflects Niagara. And we hear the wonderful stories of all the people uh, that we are aware of through their diary entries, through personal letters, uh, anything from newspapers, of the experiences people had between 1914 and 1918 in the Niagara region. And then he went from there and worked with Joan Nix, who is a film curator uh, from Brock University. And she has researched hundreds and hundreds of uh, original photographs from World War I, as well as many original photographs from the era in the Niagara region of soldiers going off to the war. And I have picked a lot of music, which I feel reflects the sort of I would suggest the, the, the larger picture of conflict and war and, and the search for peace. And then we asked two wonderful actors from the Shaw Festival to join us, if they could bring to, to life these really dramatic and deeply moving stories that uh, have been told to us through these, these soldiers and valiant heroes from the Niagara region. The music gives us that, that macrocosmic idea of what the war was all about. But the real nut and nuts and bolts of the experience of people from the Niagara region is what you're going to hear from these really, really deeply moving uh, narrations that have come from personal diary entries and letters that we have found through uh, Adrian Petri and his work in the archives. For ticket information, visit chorusniagara.ca. In St. Catharines, William Kelly, The Source.